Recording started. Let's move on to the next chapter and just share the presentation based on the next chapter. All right, you're welcome back. Yes, welcome back. Okay, we are on chapter eight. On prophecy. So we all have come across prophecy, isn't it? We all have come across prophecies. Any of us would like to share on prophecy because prophecy is, uh, is, is a message been shared or, uh, you know, it is uh, God inspired by the Holy Spirit it gives this message to us. And in the scripture, we see that the prophetic ministry is expressed in both the Old and the New Testament. It is about a message from God has been shared by the human vessel to people for the edifying of the church, for the exhortation and for the comfort of the people. We see that in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 3. And there are some of them who are called in this office as we see in Ephesians chapter 4, 11, one of the officers, the prophet, prophet. So as believers, we are not, uh, you know, we, we, we don't despise the prophecy, but we need to test all prophecies and hold on to what is good and discard what is not from the Lord. So can uh, uh, open to the class if anyone would like to share the prophecy that they have received and uh, how you see it been fulfilled in your life. Class, anyone? Can just share your experience. So as you share, we all are learning. Anyone? We have Brother Subhashish, Roslyn, Divya, John. Ruben Tamang. Zelitoli. Anyone? Just unmute and share. Sid, put off your camera. You can share your experience, huh? like how God spoke to you in your life and you see that has been fulfilled, that's been happening, or you are in the process, in the journey, or it's been fulfilled or it's yet to come. Anyone, please feel free to share it with the class. Praise the Lord. Yes, Brother Enoch, go ahead. Um, um, some years ago, before the very last day the God spoke to me, mm -hmm. I was in the bush clearing, a, walking around the house. Mm -hmm. It's the new house, so we are putting it on myself and uh, my pastor's uh, brother. Mm -hmm. And I heard the voice three times. So I walked to him, I said, are you calling me? He said, no. So I went back to go and walk, and the voice repeated itself again three times. I, I said, you are calling me. He looked at me and said, it's better you go and answer God's calling because this is God. I'll be watching you for some time. Mm -hmm. And he told me, if he said, if God called again, tell God you are, you are ready. So I didn't hear the voice again until three years later. Mm -hmm. So that, when that voice now came for the, after three years of the first time, I told God I am ready. Then mm -hmm. he didn't speak That's again. Good. So a week, a week after my wedding, mm -hmm. a week after my wedding, I was working with Nigeria Red Cross. Then God told me, he said, 
stop working and want you to serve me full time. I told my wife, just got married, just wedded. This is what God said. Mm -hmm. And my wife said, well, before I got married to you, God has told me you are going to be a pastor. Amen. And that since then, God has been faithful. Since then, God has been faithful. So I've been in business a week after my wedding. So God speaks to me from audibly, mostly audibly. When I take him on the mountain fast and said, said alone, he speaks audibly. But most times, I hear with a little sweet voice connected to my heart. Because I understand when God is speaking, speak with the parable and with the word of God, which the devil mm -hmm. does not do. So that's my experience. Praise mm -hmm. God. That Praise has God. been my experience. Praise God, brother. Thank you so much for sharing. Very helpful. It's nice to know how God gave you a prophecy and God called you into the ministry. That's amazing. Anyone in the class? So the more you share, we get to learn. It opens our understanding. So it gives the understanding for those uh, for the students who are new to this gift that it's not only God speaks to us, but God also has spoken to so many people. And this is true. And this is how God speaks to us. Anyone from the class, just go ahead and share. It can be simple. That's okay. Just share it. And this is a very safe platform to share. So don't worry. We all are learning. Can I, can I share? Yes, brother. Please go ahead. Well, uh, for me, the prophecy was not for me. Mm -hmm. But um, my wife has a church. Mm -hmm. And uh, coming to look at it, most of the time, yeah, she gives prophecies. I think she has that, that uh, uh, calling. Uh, recently, one member of our church was seriously sick to the extent uh, even the family was almost giving up on her. Where we live in Lunge, where the airport is, she was taken to Freetown, that's the capital of Sierra Leone. But she was really sick. And a few days after, my wife called to pray for her. And uh, her, her daughter took the telephone and said, yeah, Mommy want to pray for you. Immediately she said, yes, yes, yes. I think if mommy pray for me, it will be well. And indeed, she prayed and she asked God for healing and she prayed. And she told her, it will be well with you. By the special grace of God, this Sunday, that's the day before, the day after, the day before this Sunday passed, the lady has recovered after a few months taking medication. Mm -hmm. She has recovered. She came to the church this Sunday and she said, I thank God. I thank God for mommy. She prayed and prophesied for me that it, mm -hmm. it will be well with me. And indeed, mm -hmm. I have almost given up hope, but her word gave me assurance and she gave a testimony in church. I think uh, my wife has some amount of gift of prophecy. Please be the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 That's nice. Thank you. Thank you, brother, for sharing. Okay. So we'll get back to our lessons. Uh, let's turn to First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 20 to 21. Can one of us please read this, which is in the presentation as well? First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 20 to 21. Do not despise prophecies, test all things, hold fast what is good. Yes. Test. Do not despise prophecy, test all things and hold fast what is good. So we need to test the source 
of the inspiration is the person truly speaking from god or is he speaking from his own thoughts or is it from a demonic source we need to check that when we say demonic source it could be any of the you know occult practice or uh, own thoughts can be just because this person want to share something he is talking about about it in general so we need to see that and is he speaking from god we need to test and validate the message the prophecy that is given to each of us is it written the word of god is it aligned to the word of god is it from the holy spirit so when we check when we discern we will understand it god will lead us god will guide us god will speak to us there are several ways in which god can use prophecy to bring his guidance to us and one of and uh, one of it is one second i'm just trying to project the notes prophetic confirmation So God can use the prophecy to bring a confirmation of what he has been speaking to us. We have seen this before in the Old Testament and we also seen the New Testament through the apostles. How the confirmation comes, how God confirms us through the prophecy. We may be uh, praying over something for a very long time. waiting on god for a direction or to uh, to make a decision it can be anything it can be anything it can be with regard to your studies career marriage or the place to live in as you speak god can speak to us either through a person last time we studied how god can direct us through his word and now we're studying about prophecy so how uh, you know you uh, it can be through anything maybe you happen to go to a church and hear the man of god as he's been sharing the word is been inspired by the holy spirit and he goes ahead and prophesies it can be directly to a person with the with the name you know god can uh, use the man of god to call out the person by name and prophesy over him or it can be a general without the name a prophecy been released over the congregation and maybe there are many in the congregation uh, i mean this prophecy has been ministered to many in the congregation and you see that been fulfilled in their life for example in the last class as i shared i got a prophetic confirmation when i was praying over the three points <clears throat> to make a way uh for my dad to agree that i quit my job and get back you know uh quit my job and my boss to relieve me from the work and the third part i was praying was seeking for the right bible college and here when i went to church i <clears throat> you know i never told anything to the pastor and in fact pastor is meeting me for the very first time in the church and he just prayed and he prayed and he exactly spoke all these three points he said lord i pray and i make a way at that that a dad agrees and releases into the plan that you have in store for a third he said praying for a boss to relieve her and the fourth he said lord you direct her in the path that she need to go where she can get herself equipped you know all the three points step by step he covered it see there's a confirmation prophetic confirmation and exactly as he prayed in the coming months i saw in uh, maybe the process of 2 to 3 months things started happening though i forgot i went back i got busy with my work and i completely forgot but again something stirred up within me this is the right time that i need to put down my paper my dad spoke and then within a week i gave my uh, uh res- resignation letter to my boss my boss relieved me my dad was happy that i quit the job then now the third point i was seeking for the direction as a prophetic direction god can use prophecy to show us what he wants us to do 
it can also come as an instruction to a certain things that we need to go to certain place to meet a certain person a certain type of activity that we need to do whatever the lord has put in our heart when we do you see god directing us prophetically in the right way as i was continuing to pray for the right bible college one night i was inspired by god in my prayer time now i sensed within me god asking me to, as how paul met ananias i wanted you to go and meet pastor ashish i said okay lord i took a week's time but i went and i met him and the day when i met him there was all the reason that he was so busy after church that you know he could not meet me but i said no lord you have told me to meet him and i've waited for one week for that sunday to come maybe god spoke to me on a friday uh, you know on a monday throughout the week i waited because i didn't know much uh, about the church the church offers or the email ids nothing i just know him once i visited the church and he prayed over me and after some time back maybe after two or three months i'm directed by the lord to meet him so i was waiting for that sunday to come that urge every day started increasing in me i could not wait for that sunday to come and the minute the sunday came i was waiting for the service to get over the service got over but i see pastor being very busy because uh, you know there were some people uh, from got tv at come and he was talking to them and wherever pastor went i was just following him you know uh, it was so funny yes i still remember the day just standing in front of him and you know giving him signs that listen i need to talk to you i need to talk to you you know after two or three instances that he spotted that i'm following him that i need to talk to him he said can you please give me some time i'll meet you and i needed that confirmation when i got i waited and after that he met me he spoke to me and i said i need your direction i want to join i'm looking out for a bible college to join can you recommend me any of the bible colleges and then he told me we have our own college would you like to join i said yes immediately i was referred to the principal of the college and that's how my journey started see the lord directing to the right person at the right place when we rely when we depend on god god directs us god leads us prophetic revelation many times people Uh, may not be aware of the potential that god has placed within them they may not be aware the call of god or the plan that god have in their life so now god can reveal to them through prophecy god can bring that from within them the desire maybe i didn't even carry the desire to serve god and you are in a meeting I, 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 when i had my first encounter with the god uh, with god in a retreat center it was on yes it was on the last week of july of 2008 i encountered lord on uh, july 31st night and this was the verse that i i received that you shall be my witness as per acts chapter 1 verse 8 i received it and my life changed after coming back to bangalore and here there was a sudden urge and thirst to know his word so i started studying his word night and day whenever i get time started studying i was working with a uh, with a bpo company bpo sector and whenever i find time you you know every time i used to log in to the bible bible getaway start studying the scripture read the scripture study i have many questions but i didn't know whom to go and ask and inquire with and one day there was a battle you know between my addiction and everything you know it was a very difficult phase in my life i was going through i said lord i need you please strengthen me and one night i was addicted to the video games and you know i have the computer friend of me and i see all my friends play and i was just sitting there and i said lord help me 
to overcome this. You have taken this addiction from me and I don't want to get back to it. And as I was praying that night, I was led by God to one of the prayer meetings. So I went for that prayer meeting. It was in, you know, a few months, maybe in August, end of September, I went. And they had conducted a night prayer service in the month of December, 31st night. When I went for the prayer meeting, you know, uh, there was about 200 people or 300. I'm not very sure, but there were many in that hall. And, you know, they all were praying and praising. And um, because it was a New Year Eve service, they started sharing their testimony. So, yeah, there was a call to share the testimony of what happened in their life. So, you know, and as we were praying, I sensed the Lord asking me, go share your testimony. I was a meek person, very fearful. I can actually speak one-to-one -one well, but when it comes to a crowd, I'm very scared. I'm not a person who can address anything to a crowd. So I kept refusing this uh, sense what I was getting, Lord leading me, asking me to go and share the testimony. But I saw a strong urge, which I've never felt before or much later. And I was led to the stage and, you know, I went up. All I remember with my sense was, hi, I'm, I'm Diana Nancy. I just introduced myself and I saw the strength of the Lord just flow in and through me to share the testimony. As I shared the testimony and after that, suddenly the man of God just held my hand and he lifted, uh, lifted my hand up and he, he asked the congregation to stretch out the hand upon her uh, and pray. And the whole congregation, they just stretched out their hand and they started praying for me in tongues. Uh, just give me a minute, guys, please. Sorry about it. My bat, uh, my laptop battery was running out. I guess now it's charging. Thank you. Yes, as the congregation stretched their hand and prayed, the man of God just uh, spoke the same words what I encountered in you know a uh, few months back in a different retreat setup. The same words, Acts chapter one eight. And he said that God is raising you as a preacher, as a minister of God. This was not even there in my thoughts. This was not even there. I didn't even have this desire within me. So all of a sudden, the desire has been birthed. I did not say yes or no to the call of God. I just said, Lord, I submit to you. Not knowing what to do next, the journey went on. So I received this on Jan 1st of 2009, the evening service. It is a December 31st night. The next day was Jan 1st, the new year of 2009. I was just normal getting back to my work, working. But then things started changing. 
things started changing god started leading me to a good youth group i started serving in the youth group and the different ministries whatever came my way where i can volunteer and serve and i started learning that was a process where i started learning and this desire to serve god started increasing within me to be equipped in the word also started to um, you know increase in me so it was about 3 years that i prayed that i need to quit a uh, quit my work and join a bible college there was a revelation revealed through the man of god in that prayer meeting that's how god can speak to us call things into existence i may have never thought that i could serve in a ministry i didn't even have this desire but god just birthed this in me he brought it he brought this call within me he unveiled his plans and purpose that i was very particular in the way that i lead my life in the choices that i make in my life from then on every step that i take i started seeking god god is this your will is this what you wanted me to do there were times that the enemy could have planned to deviate me from the call of god but every time when i seeked god god by supernatural intervention he has saved me he has protected me and he has always kept me under his path so that i could pursue his call and his plan and purpose will be fulfilled in my life and i also would like to reiterate on the emphasis of testing all the prophecies test it is it aligned with the word of god and do you also sense within you do you have the desire to pursue what god is asking you to do and at the same time we need to be uh, conscious of not going around you know from meeting to meeting or from uh, from each person seeking for a prophecy but we need to wait on god it can just happen it can just happen that's how god speaks to us and he will lead us but there are at the same time i see there are many servant of god who share the experience saying i didn't have any dramatic experience i just sensed god leading me in this path and here i chose the ministry and god is leading me and they have a powerful ministry so it's not that every time we should have a dramatic uh, uh, um experience like how god called uh, paul and how you know god spoke to me no we don't have to but at the same time god is leading us he speaks to us in the way each one can understand can be led can can believe can increase the faith that can be increased in each one of us so god speaks to each one of us in different ways god had to do many signs for gideon when we were studying on the book of judges god gave three signs e gideon asked for three signs and god just you know did what he was asking for just to increase the faith in gideon for him to accept the call of god and step out to be a mighty warrior so each one of us according to our faith god ministers to us god speaks to us in the way that we could understand if we can understand much better in a visual he gives us the visual if we can understand through the senses god speaks to us in our senses if we can understand by the touch and feel he speaks to us in that way so there are different ways god speaks to us according to the person so we need to be open enough we need to ask god god speak to me okay so i'll open up to the class if anyone would like to share the different way how god gave you the prophetic confirmation or the prophetic direction the prophetic revelation please go ahead and share it with us
Um, I'll just share <clears throat> one incident. Yes, please. Um, so during January 2020, the 1st of January, I'm sitting in the presence of the Lord and asking for guidance for this year. Um, so Psalms 92 verse 4, you have made me glad by the works of your hand. Um, that was one verse which popped up in my mind. Uh, I used to hold on to that and uh, I kept praying about it and just believing uh, God to work miracles uh, in 2020. And uh, my marriage proposal uh, came through in the month of June, in the month of June. And uh, during that time, uh, I was just asking God regarding confirmations and um, God gave multiple confirmations and this was um, uh, one of the verses God, God reminded me, which he spoke in the month of January. And uh, my wife's name is Glads and somehow the word uh, that God spoke in, in the month of January also had a word glad in it and it's kind of a confirmation which i took personally and i'm not saying this to copy for everyone but i'm just saying <laughs> that i could uh, relate to it very much yeah yeah praise god praise god praise god that is nice yes god speaks to each one of us in a different way and he confirms to us in that way okay anyone else would like to share that was very inspiring Anyone in the class? Sid, Divya, Roslyn, Brother Subhashish. I'm just calling out the names that I could see on my screen. Brother Isaac, Ruben, Zelitoli. Just go ahead, share. Even if I've not called your name, please go ahead. As the Lord is inspiring you to speak for the benefit of the class, just go ahead and share what's in your heart, how God ministered to you through these gifts. It can be any way, prophetic confirmation or this direction or the revelation. Divya, would, would you like to share if you have received any uh, prophecies towards any confirmation or the direction of the revelation? Yeah, Pastor, sure. Um, I just got disconnected. Uh, no yes. problem. Yeah, so uh, one, uh, I have one of my mentors. She, um, I was going through a little d tough time during... Um, uh, 2017, uh, no, two years before, I think it's 2019. So, um, uh, so she encouraged me with the uh, verse in Psalms uh, 40, uh, it's two to five. I'll just read. Um, and it, uh, during that time when she said that I was not able to, you know, receive it, uh, what it was saying because I was not able to understand or believe it mm, but I just kept it in my heart I was I just wrote it down in my journal and I just went on and uh, yeah the verse is like this uh, Psalm 40 uh, I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined to me and heard my cry he also brought me up out of a horrible pit out of the miry clay and set my feet upon a rock and established my steps. He has put a new song in my mouth, praise to our God. Many will see it in fear and will trust in the Lord. <clears throat> so uh, after this, uh, uh, there was a meeting in which uh, uh, I got the opportunity to attend and the pastor was, uh, you know, just uh, in general, he was uh, prophesying upon people. So he uh, just said, uh, so as I went on onto the platform, uh, he was praying uh, 
uh, praying for each one. And as he prayed for me, he said exactly these words. So it was kind of a confirmation for me. Um, uh, I was trying to ask him the reference, but yeah, similarly, he was also really busy. So then I went back and checked uh, what I had written down in the journal and this verse, and I felt it is a prophetic confirmation for me. Amen. And uh, uh, like he has put a new song in my mouth, praise to our God. Many will see it in fear and will trust in the Lord. I'm just seeing, you know, the, uh, you know, uh, fulfillment. Yeah, it is in the process. Yeah, Praising God. Praise God. Praise God. When we hold on to all the promises, we see, uh, you know, it's been fulfilled. We read, can one of us please turn to Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2. Thank you, ma'am, for the opportunity. Praise God. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Can one of us please turn to Habakkuk chapter 2? Ma'am, Habakkuk chapter 2 verses. 2. Then the Lord replied, Write down the revelation and make it plain on the, ta on the tablet, so that the herald may run with it. 3. For the revelation awaits an ap appointed time. It speaks of the end and will not pro prove false. Though it lingers, wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. Amen. Amen. See what a uh, uh, you know encouraging word is this for each one of us. Though many in our class would have received prophecy, but I would encourage you to please journal it. Write it down. Do not think that, you know, it's not been fulfilled. But the word is encouraging us when we write it down and wait upon it. There will be a time when every word that has been shared as a prophecy will come to pass. Though it tarries, but it will be fulfilled. Though it is delayed, it will be fulfilled in the right time. There's a process for every word every season that we go through. God is strengthening us. There is a process. God is building us. We are learning something new in the process for that word, for that prophecy to come to pass in our life. So hold on to it. Don't give up. Isaiah 55, 11 also says, every word that goes out of our mouth shall not return and void, but it will fulfill its purpose. Okay, so as we end this session, let's pray. Got to open up these spiritual gifts and areas in our life to see visions, to see, to see dreams, to prophesy. And also some of us who have received the prophecy will not yet fulfilled and we are waiting on the word. God will build us. God will make that word to be fulfilled in and through us. Okay, so can I request one of us to please lead us in prayer? Uh, sure, I'll pray. Can you yes, yes, Nikki. Hello. Okay, so you can go ahead. Amen. Father, we thank you. The King of Glory, we appreciate your name. Yes, Lord. We thank you for our lecturer. We thank you for all the participants who are students. We thank you for the foundation of this school. We thank you for our family. We thank you for giving us this knowledge of your word. Be thou glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, we ask you Lord, for your strength over yes. our lecture and more revelation and more insight in the name of Jesus. The ultimate goal, the essence of this Lecture is to make heaven, to know your word and to make heaven. Oh God, none of us will be a waste product of your product in the name of Jesus. 
Amen. My Father, my God, by the time, oh God, you will come back again to meet us. We will be with you in the name of Jesus Christ. And I ask for grace for every, upon every student and a lecturer and the foundation and the master, oh God, of the school and vice chancellor of the school. Let your grace rest upon us in the name of Jesus. Father, this is, and I decree and I declare, it shall be well with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you for Amen. the prayer. Thank you so much, Brother Enoch. God bless each one as we prepare ourselves and open up for the gifts of the Spirit. And the following days, let's ask God, God, speak to me. And each of us will experience God speaking to us in dreams, vision, prophecies. Okay, and we'll also flow in the, uh, the words of wisdom, words of knowledge. And when we wait and, you know, take that risk. Okay, thank you so much. Have a great week. God bless you all. See you all next week. Thank you. God bless.